In this video, I'm going to show you how to make quality YouTube videos using only your cell phone. If you are not subscribed to the Royal Kennels YouTube channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you can remain updated with all our uploads. So we're going to get right to it. I have my Galaxy. It's a Galaxy S7. It's not a new phone. So if some of you guys do have the older phone, then great. You'll be right on target with this video. So one of the main things that you always want to do is have your phone in the landscaping mode. As you can see, I have mine on a tripod because stability of your videos is one of the main tools that you want to make sure that you have. You want to have good stability. There's also gimbals that you can do with the cell phone hookup just like I have on my tripod because you really don't want a shaky video. If I look at a shaky video whenever I'm looking at YouTube, immediately I, I hit the stop. I hit the stop button and I don't watch anymore. And we all know that video retention is one of the main things that the YouTubers really look for. So good stability in the landscaping mode. And now let's get to the settings. Go to the settings. As you can see, I have the picture size. Picture size, you want 16.9. It's 9.1 megapixels. That's just my um, actual phone. And then we're going to go to video size. So at video size, you see I have a few different options. I have full HD, which is FHD, 60 frames per second. I don't shoot at 60 frames per second. Um, I, honestly, I don't know why, but I do shoot in full HD at 1080p. And if you're wondering what is full HD, There's a definition for you guys to get a full understanding of exactly what we're doing here. And you got a few other settings. Um, you got the timer to where if you video on by yourself, like I am doing today, you can set your timer, get in front of it, position yourself real good, give it a few seconds, and boom, you're going to hit record. And then you can start videoing yourself. So it's real important to take your time, go through all your settings, get your phone set just the way you like it. And what you see most successful YouTubers are doing and kind of get an idea of how they're doing it. I myself, I started, I know I don't have a huge channel, but I do have a good channel. And I started solely from my cell phone. I have a DLSR. I have a drone and I also have a GoPro, but my go-to camera is my cell phone. So we're back on the camera. We're in the landscaping mode. And all you have to do is record. So now we're in the record mode on the exact cell phone that I was running the demonstration to. So as y'all can see, I have one of my puppies in my hands because Royal Kennels is a, um, an American bully kennel. And that's what my channel is built around. And that's one of the important things. Although I can give you guys great tips that I use to start my YouTube channel, it's very important to stay in your niche because that's what your followers look for you for. You give people a value proposition to follow you and everything else pretty much falls in place. So I want to get one of my little puppies to let you guys get a little um, sample of how the cell phone works, to look at them, to see me interacting with them, and to share with you guys and to keep it dog related. Although, if you're not, um, if you're not a dog breeder or you're not a pet lover, um, are you really just kind of on the fence? You just love good videos. You love YouTube. You love the whole process. This channel can still be for you. So I do want to earn your subscription. I do want you to watch the channel. I do want you to enjoy. I do want you to interact in the comments. I do want you to ask certain things. And we want you to enjoy our journey as we do all of the other YouTubers in the world. Because 
one thing about YouTube is so amazing that we can all connect with each other, you know, like-minded people connecting all the way across the world, sharing inspiration and encouraging people and showing people how to start and how you started from scratch to really get this thing going. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you can remain updated with all our uploads. And now I'll get back to the settings to show you the editing app on my cell phone that I use to start my channel. So now we're back to the editing app that I use. So this is act the actual app that I use. It's the uh, video editor app. Real simple. You just hit the the upload button. As you can see, I got some of my family pics. This is not a um, this is not a demo phone, or it's not anything that I just use. So you just choose the video that you want, bring it up, and do all your editing. Now I have a few apps that I chose for you guys. This is some of the top five apps that you can use to do editing on your cell phone. Um, I used Viva Video for years when I first got started, and then I just switched over to the video editor app. Um, I went to my other camera. I also use Premiere Pro. I use Filmora. So I've used different things um, on the PC, but like I said before, my go-to my go-to video camera is my cell phone. It's very quick and easy. I got, I gave you guys a good description of a couple apps to use. I really use these apps. Um, I know we're about to touch 30,000 subscribers, which isn't huge to a lot of the big YouTubers out there, but it is a very good quality channel. And I just want to give you guys an idea that you can build a good channel using only your cell phone. I hope this video has helped you out a ton. If it has, please leave a great comment. If you watched to the end of this video, let me know that you watched it so I can, so I can know who are my people, my dedicated people to the channel and who are really engaging into my content. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. And God bless y'all.